274 miles per hour. That red hot rod for Jeff Veal with Napa on it. Well, you all certainly have had the know-how to go rounds one way or the other here at the Gator Nationals, and you are eyeing a final round berth, possibly a win, Jeff. Oh, I, we wish. I hope so. But yeah, ever, ever since we put this car red, I guess we're getting our good luck back. But yeah, it has definitely coming around now. We've been having our struggles, so it's nice to see a good number come on the board and we get a direction which way we're going here but yeah that's awesome hopefully we can pull this off in the final it's a pretty tough car that samsung car so we'll see joe c maynard has been smooth as bourbon out here in the top alcohol dragster competition you've got an opportunity to double up you already won the baby gators now the gator nationals can you get it man we'll see um i've been taking it one round at a time and in Eventually you only have one round left, right? So now I am focused on this round, on the final round. Now I'm focused on the win. And, and this whole team is, as you can see there, just got back and they immediately got to work. So I'm thinking that, uh, I'm thinking we're gonna get it done for sure. Probably. <laughs> Anders there is working on his hot rod to make the final round here at the 55th Gator Nationals. He qualified number one for the baby Gators, has been performing well down here at Gainesville Raceway, took out Sean Bellamere and is looking to take out the winner of the baby Gators who took him out in the baby Gators, Phil Ez. They're working away to get this car turned around to make the final. Well, we know that Phil Ez is going to a final with an opportunity to double up here at Gainesville. But Phil, we're all wondering, where were you going? One on the burnout and then the actual pass. Well, I don't know. The, the burnout, I, I've been dragging the brakes to kind of heat them up, and I pushed the brake too hard, and I think it just pulled the car to the right is what I think happened. So I'm going to gently rub the brakes this time, next time. And then when it took off, when it left, when it launched, it just went to the right again. I just hung on. I thought I was on the center line, over the center line. I shifted it late, short shifted in the second, and went a 45. That's the fastest we've ever been. So we're we're very excited about all that. I, I just we got a little luck going this weekend. We're going to keep it rolling into the finals. Phil Ez, quick with style. 